well, with all those names, now I know why Father Saad asked me to take Friday's Mass and to preach on that. Um, but it's very easy to gloss over the genealogy of Christ. Just like, here's a whole bunch of names. Like, okay, let's just like get to the, you know, meat and potatoes of the story. But if that's a temptation that you have, I'd invite you to pause on that. Because what if I told you that in our earliest manuscripts that we have of the scriptures, all of them are in capital letters, and believe it or not, there's no spaces. There's no even punctuation. See, paper was at such a premium, it was so valuable that they had to squeeze every blessed thing onto the, the scrolls that they could, which means they didn't even put spaces in between words. They didn't even put punctuation marks in the writings. But yet they included all of these names. So clearly, it's important. It's not something that we should just gloss over. It is the word of God. It's in there for a reason. And one of the reasons is to really emphasize and highlight God's plan. See, these names, whether you're familiar with some of them or not, some of them are filled with really big names, really important names in the scriptures. They played huge roles. Some of them, a passing mention, and that's about it. Super important people, not so important people. Some of these people are really amazing. They're to be emulated. They're morally outstanding. Some of them, much less so. Some of them are men. Some of them are women. Whatever they were, we see that God has used all sorts of people to accomplish his plan, that all of this from the very beginning, from Abraham all the way up to the Blessed Mother whose birthday we celebrate today, God used each and every one of them, big and small, important, unimportant, man, woman, whatever. He used them to accomplish his plan, ultimately of bringing Jesus Christ into the world to save us. The other part that's actually omitted, it's like one verse that's omitted and I wish they didn't actually. It says from, it broke it, this uh, genealogy into three sections and it says from this person to this person, 14 generations. From this to this, 14 generations from this to this, 14 generations. Again, showing God's providence, this plan that none of this is accidental. God intended this. And that should be something that's very encouraging for us because we can look at the world and be like, oh my gosh, what is going on? But we're reminded through our reading and our celebration today that even if we don't understand what's going on, just as many of the people uh, in this genealogy didn't understand what God was doing through them or the people before him, that God's got this. He's got it under control. And not only does he have it under control in the world around us, but he has control in your life. That all the people that were in your life, all the experiences that you've had, good or bad, it's for a reason. And God is using it to perfect you and to perfect the people around you. So today, may we pray for that grace to not only know that God has a plan for the world and for us, but to know him whose plan it is trusting in him that no matter what happens to us, if God is for us, then who can be against us?